Hi again 3GD, this is your maths lesson, week 6, lesson 4. Let's head to that Top Marks website for a warm up. Hopefully you've been playing Times Tables Rockstars, so you should be really good at this game too. Type in the search coconut multiples. Now you should be able to do your multiples to 12. And I'd like you to try either mixed 2 to 12, 2 to 5, or 6 to 12. I'll have a go at that one. Okay, so we've got to find the multiples of 9. There we go. When you think you've got them all, click on Brilliant. done. Have fun. Now for some quick revision, thinking about the greater than or less than sign. Now remember the crocodile always likes to eat the bigger number. So is this right? It's not, is it? We need to flip it. We'd rather eat 502 than 345. When you're trying to decide, remember, which number's bigger, start by looking at the hundreds. 300 is less than 500, so it's definitely going to go for that one. How about this? We need to swap it round again, don't we? It's going to eat the bigger number. How would you do this one though? Look, the hundreds are the same. 900 here, 900 there. If your hundreds are the same, look at the tens. So two tens here, but this is bigger. Seven tens. So he would eat that number. Have a think now. What number could you put here? It's got to be greater than 927, hasn't it? Because the crocodile will eat the bigger number. Can you think of some numbers that could go here? Think carefully. The crocodile's eating the bigger number. So you need smaller numbers here, don't you? OK, that's your warm-up and revision done. Now let's move to the main part of the lesson. Today we're adding two three-digit numbers together. And we're going to try and do this mentally today in our heads rather than writing things down on paper. Have a look at the first one. How could you do that? Pause the video and have a chat with your grown-up or a big brother or sister. Think about the methods we used yesterday because you're not going to use the formal method of writing it down as a column addition. So we're not doing this today. Uh -uh. So one way to do it is to count on the hundreds, then the tens, then the ones. So 478 add 100 would be 578. Then add the 20, 500 and 98. Now the other way of course is partitioning. We could have added the hundreds up first, so 400 and 100 is 500. Got to remember that. 70 and 20 is 90. And 8 plus 0 is 8. So then you've got to add your 500, your 90 and your 8. 598. Where we write? Yes. I want you to have a go at this one now. Try and do it in your head using one of the methods I've just shown you. Pause the video. Did you get 737? Don't worry if you didn't, just try again. Now I was really cheeky and sneaky when I did this one. I didn't start with 109, I started with 628, the bigger number. It's usually easier, isn't it? Then I added 100 to give me 728, and I didn't add 9. I'm not very good at adding 9, I have to be honest. I added 10 instead. So that gave me 738. But that's one too many, isn't it? I should have only added nine. So let's adjust it, take one away, and it would be 737. 
The partitioning way, of course, you'd have added up your hundreds to give you the 700, added up the tens, and then added up the ones, and then recombine to give you that 737. <laughs> Try this one now. What strategies are you going to use for this one? Pause the video while you work it out. Did you get 682? I hope so. So let's have a look at how you could have done that with a counting on method. Start with a bigger number, 452. Add 200. That will give me 652. Add 30. 600. And 82. Maybe you preferred the partitioning way, so you probably did it like this. 400 and 200 is 600. 50 and 30 is 80. 2 and 0 is 2. Recombine 680. Do. Have a go at this page in your pack, page 36. Recap on how to add your two digit numbers to your three digit number. And then for extension, have a little go at what we've just been doing. Page 37, you're adding two three digit numbers. Remember, these are the strategies you're using. You're not going to use that formal vertical addition method. That's another lesson done, boys. Well done. See you tomorrow. Bye.